You know, I did not expect to be still playing this game for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I had a lot of fun making the last two videos I've done for this. This is technically part three of the series, but it's not really a full series that I'd planned on playing. So, they went from a game that I didn't even know I was playing, <laughs> somebody requested it, then I started playing it, now I was like, man, after that last part, I just had to see what happened next. So, I knew it was starving, so I need to eat. Uh, so if you enjoy these videos, just keep destroying that like button and I'll keep doing more of it. Uh, I have no plans on finishing this. Every year there's games where I'll do partial series and then there's games where I'll... Like the next full, probably, series is going to be like Far Cry 5 and God of War. Uh, but for now, I'll play whatever. So let me go to the baker really quick. I think it's right in front of me, isn't it? Oh, I need to talk to this guy first. Should I... Ooh, you know what? Let me go over here really quick. I guess I could talk to him since we're already here. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Oh, that was a quick uh, heard about your father. interaction. All right, let's get some food. He's saying go to the kitchen. Maybe he knows what the, you know, the actual food is. Because I tried to come in here earlier before the video to eat, and it was not happening. You have a fine reputation. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. All right, so we did have to talk to that guy to, I guess, unlock the kitchen. All right, eat. Go to the courtyard lodge and sleep somewhere in... Okay, so let's get some food, shall we? All right, it's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer Henry doesn't eat, the weaker he gets. He can even die. Like, the game is just over. Let me take a seat here. Whew. All right, I'm good. Uh, do I... I guess I order food. Do I just talk to the lady over here? Hold on. Oh, God, what just happened? Did you see that? Oh wait! Eat from pot! Gimme. You learned food. Nice. Alright, let's go upstairs and sleep, shall we? Alright guys, I think I found the bed! Finally! Here we go. Let's get some sleep, shall we? My dude was super exhausted. I mean, he was doing the fast blink and everything. Alright, hold on, what we got? How long do you want to sleep for? Uh, I'm gonna say, let's go up eight hours, maybe? Oh, dude, check out the nourishment. It starts to deplete after a while. That's interesting. All right, so, I think a tight, uh, let's do a tight 10 hours. Why not? <laughs> That's actually kind of cool that you could just pick that. Bill, if you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... 
No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world, although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. Tell the story of the raid. I just can't talk about it. Yeah, well, why not talk about right, it? My lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Our lady Stephanie, I went to collect the depth. I went to the tavern for L and met my sweetheart Bianca there. Uh, a fellow by the oh, name well, of Kunish something for me. to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzig. All right, the time limit thing now. All right, uh, sword fighting. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh... But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw the smoke on the horizon. There was a huge horde of attackers. There we go. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Oh, all right. So let's see. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one cumin after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother, and he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I ran as if my life depended on it, which it did. But my guardian angel watched over me and I made it to the mill below the castle. It's as well you did. The Lord be praised. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. 
I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Uh, woman in the Middle Ages, alright. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years? And was Harvel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady.
Henry, <sighs> wake up. You don't want to miss this. <sighs> what is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. <sighs> All right, go to the uh, battlements via the gateway stairs. All right, game so saved. Let's get out of here, shall we? Oh, wait, that's a lockpick situation. Hold on. So we nothing in here I can take with me, it looks like. Uh, torch? I guess I'll take that just in case I need it, you know. <laughs> Good to go. Uh, Sage of Light uh, holding your torch. Okay. Nice. Oh, this feels like amnesia already. Oh man, this uh having to reflect on like the I guess the whole town getting attacked and everything was kinda kinda cool little story element there. Alright, we good? Let's see what the next objective pops up says. What are you doing there? I think I go up here. Uh, it's the guards. This thing is it's a locked area, isn't it? It's like, yeah, it's a private area. Can't go in there. Uh, let me double check. It might be back down this way. Hold on. And anyway, we ain't prepared for a scene. That's just guards. Let me double check the map. And so I need to keep one hand free. Yeah, we're going the right way. All right. Apparently, you can actually fast travel between all the different places. Here we go. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalots. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scalots to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Who else, Robert? Sir Antig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. 
I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will, and good luck to you and your people too. It's a dark time. Nice. Talk to this fool again. Gotta go bury my parents, man. Uh, can I be of help? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Who are you? What's that? Keep watch on the... Okay, we're gonna just hang tight up here then, it looks like. Are you serious? What? What the hell are you doing? I feel like we're about to get attacked. Hold on, let me look at the map. So, it's saying just, uh... Chill out. Hold on, let me look around. Look at these little side objectives. Well, the one thing I haven't really shown you guys much, so we have the little food menu thing, but up top you have your player stats. Uh, it shows you like your overall strength and stuff, and you can show more of that. And it just shows all like, these different little, I guess, parts of it. So, map, we can actually see all the different things we have on here. What is that thing? Label? Okay, that's just that. Then we have the huge, like, codex for everything. All right. Gonna explore, you know, keep an eye on everything. Can I come in here? Yep, private area. Oh, he locked me in. <laughs> Let me get out of here before I get arrested. You can actually, like, if you go stupid around too much, uh, they'll put you under arrest and beat that ass. I don't know. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Who are you? I'm gonna run around. Like how I'm just here chilling, you know? I hate I'm not allowed to like leave or anything, like just hang around here, I guess until something happens, or maybe I'm supposed to trigger the next event. Because if I zoom out, let me look. Let's look over here. I know I have to go all the way back here eventually. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. So what are we supposed to do? It just says to... I mean, I don't know. Maybe... Just sit down and rest? I don't... <laughs> it said supposed to keep watch, but there's so many of us here. Hold what on. You me well, I never. Hey, what... What did he just... Did he just go in my room? Hold on. Excuse me, sir. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Ah, uh, you can skip time, press that. Watch out though, tiredness and hungry. Okay, so... I guess we just wait till... What? Hmm. Thing is, my energy's gonna deplete. But I could also sleep and then... 
Yeah, let's do that one. That's kind of cool that you can just speed up time like that, though. Reminds me of Assassin's Creed Origins when you just hold the touchpad and it changes, like, the sky and everything. Objective started wait until morning. Wait, did I not just... Hold on one second. That was weird. Okay. Oh, yeah, we, we already did it. We're good. Everyone's coming ahead. Okay, we're about to get into a war, I feel like. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. An idiot! Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what, then, do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Ratzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king's end? that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tamburg, and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen.
My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. What are you playing at? I like how me and the main character both had the same feeling. Once I saw that dude, I was like, that's the dude that killed my family. All right, bury your loved ones. Uh, talk. Okay, let's get a horse. I could, let me put this thing up. All right, yeah, we're good. Let me, I gotta figure out, like, I guess, so the best way to, okay, the sword doesn't need to always be out. I wonder if I swing it, will I get in trouble? I just want to mess around with it really quick. What are you playing at with that weapon? Interesting. All right. I'm gonna run over here, and I guess we'll go talk to him, and then we can get a horse. But I need to, cause I gotta go all the way over there, and I'm guessing what I'll have to wind up doing is, uh, should I eat and stuff before I leave? I haven't been in here yet, not in a while. At least There's somebody in here waiting for me. Should I sleep? I don't feel like I need to, but I did wait all night, so let me sleep for like. Let me take a nap really quick. I'll do like a two hour nap. Power sleeping, fam. I love you get to choose, man. It, I don't know, I can't remember if Skyrim had that or not. Like the artwork for this game is really good. One thing I did hear that they increased was like the saturation. I think that's between the first and second video I might have talked about. Like, the first video, it looked, I wouldn't say washed out, like a white texture over everything. But I think what they wound up doing was, uh, when they increased saturation, it just made every all the colors just popped a lot more, so. Alright, that should be it, right? I don't think that even did anything, but whatever. If I'm about to be traveling that far, I might as well have a little bit of rest under me. I don't need to have my sword. Hold on, let me look at my inventory really quick, because it's like I don't need to have everything equipped. Yeah, let me unequip that. I'm pretty sure there's like a shortcut where I could de equip it, but I don't know what that is just yet. Still kind of learning the game. There's a lot I need to take in, but all right, so we're good on that. Let me look and see where I'm su I actually supposed to go. Let me zoom in. Zooming in is a little bit weird. Okay, so he's over there. I might have actually passed him when I went to sleep. I could have just talked to him initially. Let's see where it moves when I go over here. Don't worry. Yep, You're he's safe. back over here. Just chilling. Safe? Good health, you. Uh, let's see. I need a horse. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I have to bury my parents. Let's go do that. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. I think he was against that anyways. Uh, let's see. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. What happened in Kuttenberg? Gutenberg, well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad, these are all games of the high aristocracy. 
In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? All right, so we're kind of getting some information. All right, for the loot to feed his troops. I suppose because it has a strategic position and good fortifications, so it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defenses too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas' most powerful allies, before they could stand against him, and also gained immense wealth. Where did these humans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. I think that's it. Wonder if I can just talk to him. Good day to you. Uh, I need to get out of here. There we go. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. I have to bury my parents. So we don't know, so you can compare the, the things on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm kind of learning that now. Don't you know who I am? That's the highest one I have? I'm going to go with that. Let me out, I say. Don't you know who I am? Someone is about to lose his <laughs> teeth if he doesn't get lost quick. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. Uh, I'll try to think of something. What do you have in mind? What yeah. am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet. Then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right, I'll have a look around for something. All right, so we need to find armor. Okay, is there a traitor here somewhere? I already know there is. Uh, I need to get out of here. Okay, let's end the dialogue. All right, so it kind of expanded a little bit. Let me go back this way. All right, guys, that is it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I guess if you would like me to do another video where I go, I guess, bury my parents. That's kind of weird to say that. But um, I, I actually heard you can get armor from here. Uh, I'm going to talk to her. Apparently, she gives you money. You got to go buy a lockpick. You can get a full set of armor like this guy's wearing right here. Uh, and a horse if you do everything right. So I'm going to practice the lockpicking, which they are apparently hopefully going to patch soon. Apparently, it's extremely difficult. So I'm sure I'm about to be pulling my hair out for the next few hours trying to learn it. Uh, but if you guys would like more of this, just destroy that like button. And I love you all. And take it easy.